What is going on guys? Our 50 horsepower V-twin drag rail has been sitting in the corner, parked for over a month because the magnets and the flywheel went bad. We were having problems with spark. Uh, we got two sets of new coils and it didn't help it. And turns out the magnets lost their magnetism at 186 degrees Fahrenheit. Just, it was the material they were made out of. So today we are installing these new magnets and doing some 60 foot test passes because this thing got parked in the middle of doing testing. The original goal was getting to the eight set drag strip. We have put new weights in our torque converter to help with the stall. And now we're gonna install the magnets. Now that we're putting the new magnets in the flywheel, we're finally gonna be able to see the difference in these higher stall rollers versus the original rollers that came with the 780 Go Power Sports torque converter. So the engine's just sitting in there. So all we need to do is pick it up, take it off, a couple bolts, stick these guys in, slap her together, do some 60 foot times. We need to clear the air on something here, guys. A lot of y'all told us that the red needle faces north. Well, I normally agree with you, but in this case, the white one faces north. So we have N and it goes to red, and usually red is north, but we know that opposites attract. So the red is actually south, right? On this compass. Yeah, on this compass. Yes. So, and then we flip it around to the S and the white comes around. Oh yeah. Yeah, that looks good, man. Woo! Nice. Try to see what we got. Oh yeah, we we got full throttle. Everything is installed except for the battery, which we're gonna let charge a little longer, and the fuel tank, which is on the 900 cc rail. So we are gonna grab that real quick. Let's go. We're just robbing the tank off the 900 here, which we need to take around the Cars and Cameras Grand Prix. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be awesome. <laughs> so I got the fuel tank, and it is hot in here, man. You thirsty? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah, give me something to drink, dude. Sure, man. <sighs> Delicious. So our 60-foot time to beat is 2.5 seconds for our testing out here in the driveway. So between the better ignition and the higher stall, I think we're going to be a lot faster than that. Floorboard. No, 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 no. Look at That was like a night and day difference. The thing freaking launched. What was it? 250 be was our average. 250 was our average? Yeah. It's exactly the same. Let's try it again. You ready? Go. Funny though. Ugh. And I'm sorry dude, but it was slow. 3901. Oh. You alright man? No. So we're still having problems. And it was slow around the Grand Prix. But at least it looked awesome, dude. Let's pull the spark plugs and check out to see if one is black and one is not. Okay. Uh then it could be uh, instead of 
ignition, it could be a carburetor issue. Because remember at the drag strip, I messed with the carburetor and it had a miss before and I messed with it and all of a sudden it smoothed out. Yep. I'm gonna say the front one is uh, lean. Let's have a look. Okay. Is that oil? Could be fuel. Unburned fuel though? Well, I mean, it might have. Carburetor might be leaking down a little bit. This one looks a little fatter. But not. But not super fat. Yeah. They look yeah, they're right. pretty much the same, dude. Yeah, they look alright to me. Yeah. Well. Let's just try to, we'll throw the stock carburetor on it and we'll kind of run it around, not nothing crazy because we don't want to mess anything up and just see if it behaves a little better. Behaves better, yeah. And I was explaining to John how I think this carburetor works. Uh, if you look down in there, you see two holes. This hole right there feeds the front cylinder on the engine. This one feeds the back cylinder. It's like two carburetors in one housing. And it's possible that we could have some trash in the front or rear bowl causing issues with uh, one of these cylinders running. Uh, it could be the idle circuit, it could be accelerator, I, it, it, who knows. Um, and no, not accelerator, accelerator pump. These don't have accelerator pumps. I thought I'd beat you to it. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to throw on a different carburetor just to see if it acts a little more normal. And the carburetor for this built 670 has been reworked and like the jets have been opened up and stuff like that. So we don't expect the same performance out of the stock one. But we're just hoping that this thing will run smoothly. If it'll run smoothly, then we know that we have some kind of problem with the carburetor. If we're still having all kinds of problems, then it's still back to the drawing board. This one was on the Black Widow and we took it to that, that meet and greet, the first one, and people wanted to hear it run. And it wouldn't start. And it wouldn't start. Yeah. That electrical part. We, I took it out of this one. Right. This one doesn't have that, that valve. Oh, true. Yeah. I know just enough to get us into trouble. Yep. Or about like the trouble I'm going to get in when I, when your dad sees those two tracks in the grass. like it never even happened. I'm pretty sure this carburetor was working fine before. We just want to go dual carburetor. So I'm not going to drill out the jets or anything. I'm just going to bolt it up and see if it acts better. And if it does, then Makuni time, I think. So the next step is to replace this carburetor with a big old Makuni, but we don't have one today and can't get one this week. So here's what we're going to try. It most likely won't work because if it worked, they'd be doing it from the factory. But I plan on notching, like bridging these two ports together to try to, it feels like one side of the carburetor is not working as well as the other one. So if I cut out a notch and kind of put them bridge them together that good y'all know what I'm talking about and see if it evens out the rough running we may not get performance 
but maybe it might idle good on both cylinders rather than cutting out and stuff. So going fast on the rail is probably not going to happen today, but at least we can try to learn something by bridging the gap between this and seeing how it's going to run. Because if you think one of the circuits is clogged, then like taking the gap out would mean we'd have more even fuel going into each bay, right? Mm-hmm. That's the idea. Now this is going to either be a A, really good idea, or B, a bad idea. All right, so I'm going to open that up. Boop, boop. do anything for us dude no <laughs> <laughs> at least he's honest <laughs> well I mean there's a gap in there now I can feel it <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna really like let the fuel and air no shoot over, it needs to but... be more like an X it's like an H right now yeah you know uh, I mean, we'll try it. All right, we got it up on a jack. See if it'll run. it was trying to pull that front wheel off the ground I think too. it did pull the front wheel so you trying to run it again we'll put you in it and some like 50 pound weights and see if it'll just I, you know what you can put the camera up close to the wheels and I'll uh, see if I can pop it all right all right I don't yeah I don't care if it'll run a 980 in the eighth mile this thing it feels quick it puts you in the back of the seat yeah another 250 another 250 yeah well 254 <laughs> maybe we're bad at timing late. I think it was a little late on the ending. I think it was 250. So, I <sighs> think I saw you pop the front wheel. Dude, I, I, yeah, it feels faster, man. We just, so, if we can get a, a meaner carburetor on there, man, uh -huh. it'll rip. call that a win dude i'm gonna call that a win it feels better uh the 60 foot times may not be better but i mean the only ow break? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that break will catch you man <laughs> wow that thing is hot yep yep <laughs> so the i think only... we've worn pants every other time yeah anyway yeah. so the only real uh way we're gonna know if it's better is taking it At down the, the strip track. dude um, did you notice that it still has misfires? Yes. But it doesn't seem like it's misfiring on one cylinder. It seems like it's misfiring on both of them. So that means that our riggery potentially worked. Yeah. It wheelies, which is awesome. So as soon as we get a big fat Makuni to stick on here, we're going to take it back to the drag strip and hopefully lay down a at least a low nine second pass. I don't know. I don't know. On paper, our 60 foot time is not any faster, but like... But it does wheelies and it didn't wheelie before. So I think it's safe to say that these rollers or the, the different weights in the 780 Go Power Sports torque converter really made a heck of a difference. And I think it sounds better too. I mean, you know, big old stall and you hear the cam, you just think race car, so. Well, uh, hopefully it'll put us in our uh, uh, peak 
uh, power band. Yeah, that, that and, was the major point. And yeah. that'll help us get on down the track. The 780 torque converter is actually still in development and it should be available soon. But for all you guys with the 40 series torque converter, which is what we have on the original Black Widow and it's held up really well for us, is you can actually buy different weighted springs for that to adjust the stall. So if you're more into drag racing, you're gonna want a higher stall or if you more like just putting around the stock spring should do just fine. But I had no idea before we messed with these that that was even a possibility. Of course, you can get 10% off the 40 series torque converter and other street go-kart, off-road go-kart, and mini bike parts at gopowersports.com with our code CC10. Be sure to use our code, it helps us out. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. And don't forget to come to our meet uh, Saturday, July 21st, 10 a.m. at Busco Beach. We're gonna bring the drag rail out there, uh, as well as our Honda 70s, probably the Trailmaster, some other projects too, and we're looking forward to seeing you guys and riding with you guys out there. Check our Facebook page again at Cars and Cameras Reviews for more information. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already and press the bell to receive notifications and smash that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video today. Check out our website at cars-cameras.com. The sticker and t-shirt purchases really help us out as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, hopefully with a big old Makuni.